Green Motor Mouth Mall working the mobile walked on through. Oh, okay, Motor Mouth Mall. Yeah, All right, eating peanuts. I got a mouthful of peanuts, so it's kind of hard to talk. Small mouth mall, 218. I'm out of the way. Bartender 318. Yeah, I've been going through a phase here lately. I've been eating a bunch of pistachios. Uh, so I know how that goes, but I haven't got a mouthful of them right now. Hello to you one more time. 318 Motor Mouth Mall working the small mobile got down. All right, man. If I can get my station anything like your mobile, I'd be 108. Motor mouth ball. Keep on doing what you're doing. Man, you impress me. 318 in a mag, I'm listening. Hey, 318, what I'm hearing right now, you should hear what I hear in my mobile because your sound is impressive right here. Are you walking through here? Some crystal clear, loud, perfect audio. Ain't no doubt about that. Hey, 318, Motor Mouth Mall, let you know. All right, and I'm going to play my life. You guys will play my life, man. 318, always a weak thing. It's a weak, weak, weak radio, but it's play my life. Gotta love plate modulation, and no doubt about that. That's what we do over here, but we're doing it with the collectors. We're collector modulated. But, you know, that's, uh, it all works to break. You got that right. You got that 100% right, Motor Mouth Mall. I'm going to get out of here. Let's move. Take this on. Let's go 318. And I'm out of way. Hey, 318. You know, one thing about AM, and there's no right or wrong way to get there. Hey, that's a beautiful thing about AM. There's no right or wrong way as long as you got the right outcome. You know, how you get there doesn't matter too much. <laughs> you got there the right way. That's for Doug Gun Shore, 318 Motor Mouth Mall, working a mobile. And that's a Roger Motor Mouth Mall. Yeah, I'll holler at you again tomorrow night. I'll holler at you last night. I'm holler at you tonight. Hopefully, I get to I'll holler at you again tomorrow night. Motor Mouth Mall. Me on this old weak thing around the mag. Them big boys let me talk. You know how it is. I'm out of way. That's how I do it, too. I get in between the cracks. I get in where I can fit in every now and again. A318. We did it last night. We do it tonight. And I'll do it again tomorrow night. We'll be out here. Same channel. Same bat radio. Same bat channel. 318. Motor Mouth Mall cruising. <laughs> Full ride Motor Mouth Mall. I just got down. In fine, fine style. I'll see you. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Hey, Yardbird, good to see you up in there. Are you smoking up in here, too? Hey, Yardbird, appreciate the flowers. Save some for yourself. Yardbird, Motor Mouth Mall, working a small mobile. Wait, break, break. <laughs> And a yard bird that was rough and tough as far as signal strength goes it's a, a little bit uh, uh mother nature dipping and dabbing and flipping and flopping being kind of promiscuous i heard it roll down there around new orleans a little bit and i heard you roll up in there a little bit so it was a little bit rough and tough that time to break <laughs> You're just working a five pill over there. Hey, Mad Hatter, you working a five pill in New Orleans, man. You're bodacious. You got that five pill working. I'm working a two by eight, but I'm only keying it at 150 watts. I don't want to pull too much power off the truck. So I'm keeping things on the low side right now. Break. Ten four to Mad Hatter. Good to hear you up in there. You're smoking. Audio is bodacious and up on the top shelf as always. Take care and have a real good evening, Mad Hatter. Motor mouth mall working the mobile and I'm stepping. How about you, Motor Mouth Mall? Triple nickel, 15 cents. Got you up in there, too. Good good afternoon time to get a break. I was in your neck of the woods there for about a week or so. Anyway, 73's Motor Mouth Mall. Sounding good as always here in Kansas City. 410, I appreciate the flowers. And yeah, you should have given me a 20. If you were in Santa Maria uh, out here, you should have given me a 21 or a text or something real fast. 
they would have got grabbed and uh, grabbed some coffee or some dinner or lunch or something like that. Hey, uh, take care of seven threes. A triple nickel motor mouth mall working a small ball peen hammer. Got down. I appreciate it there, motor mouth mall. Yeah, I was busy in the cap covered, you know what? But uh, maybe next time I get out that way, I'll try to make contact with you. <laughs> Fourteen, fourteen. Take care. Well, we'll look forward to the next time. We'll see what happens. You never know whatever uh, whatever transpires. So it'll be what it's going to be. As for Doug on shore, take care. Have a great evening out there. Enjoy to its absolute fullest. A triple nickel. Blessings and good graces around your place, a Motormouth Mall. And hello out there, Catfish Boy around Illinois. I heard you too. I did a Motormouth Mall waving. <laughs> Catfish Boy, Illinois, you're dropping that hammer out there. Ain't no doubt about that. Keep on doing what you're doing, Catfish Boy, Motormouth Mall, cruising, break up. Four ten. Bye. Have a good evening, and we'll catch you a little bit later on too. A hey, Catfish Boy. Bye. 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 <laughs> I'm not even looking at I'm looking in Texas. I, let, let me let me peek up around Illinois one time. Hold on. I'm looking in Texas. Let me see if I can get this thing up there around Illinois somewhere. A uh, catfish boy, Motormouth Mall, looking a little bit more toward Illinois. I hope I went too far. A uh, catfish boy. I, that might make it a little bit better for you to break. <laughs> Bartender, Catfish Boy, I appreciate you letting me know that audio is bodacious and you bodacious over here too. Keep on doing what you're doing. Catfish Boy, Motormouth Mall stepping and I'm out. Me and this 150 well-trained birds got all the way down. <laughs> Catfish boy on a super glue. I heard you. I did motor, motor mouth mall stepping and take care out there on the BYU. Mad Hatter, motor mouth mall looking. Hey, 299 in the Magnolia. Holy cow. I'm not even looking in the Magnolia. I, I'm looking at one of my birds. Matter of fact, he's going for a ride. We're taking the bird for a ride over to the Magnolia. Okay, now we're looking in the Magnolia. Hey, 299, I'm looking in the mag. So is my bird to break. Motormouth Mall, cruising. Well, it's good to hear you getting the equipment back out of the closet, all hooked up. That thing is working really good, bodacious, and the sound is superb. Ain't no doubt about that. 299 Motormouth Mall Cruise, and they got down. <laughs> Well, you were working that blade built. Hey, 25, you working that blade built, and it's working for you, I guarantee. Tell you, 25, Motor Mouth Mall looking. Keep that 25 switchblade built working for you, too. That, that thing is working really good. You got a big old hammer, a whole lot of audio to boot. Hello to you one more time. 25, Motor Mouth Mall working a small Cobra 29. Alex, got down. I got to give me a switchblade. I got to give me a switchblade. I got to give me a switchblade. Taxi 
Jason. Hey, 318, you said you gotta get you a switchblade built too. Hey, 318, I heard you, I did. Yeah, I gotta get some. But he got it, yeah, boy. He wrote switchblade built some good boxes. I got it. Switchblade ain't about 40 miles. He ain't maybe 40 miles from me. I gotta get in touch with him now, folks. Yeah, 410. Well, I know Uncle Switchblade will set you up right. He gets you the good stuff. Ain't no doubt about that. He knows how to build a box. Motor mouth mall cruise when I got down. Hey, you got it, you got it. I gotta get them green stamps. That's all the thing I gotta do is get them green stamps going. And maybe I can be a big boy. 318 over here. I'm gonna have to wait, motor mouth. That's all it takes. A couple green stamps and you can do it too. AA 318. But you don't need nothing. You already 10 8 and straight their break. Hey, Kid in line, old two two big kid, but I ain't kidding much, you know. You who won't do a full key on that heat kid, but I'm doing what I do, and everything runs cool, there, uh, folks. Oh yeah, and it sounds good. I mean, crystal clear, super clean, strong, bodacious, big hammer. That's all you need right there, man. I'd be afraid to, I'd be afraid to turn my radio on if you had something bigger than that up in line. Yeah, I need something bigger. Though. <laughs> I need, I need some steel. I need some steel. A little bit of steel works. A little bit of steel could do some good, too. That's for doggone sure. Well, you got the uh, two-tuber. That'll drive some steel. Ain't no doubt about that. The brake. Well, the food there, not there, folks. Yeah, 10-4. Well, it, it, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see what you conjure up here in the near future. I hope you get that uh, upgraded here before the cycle ends the break. Well, I'm going to be working on something. I'm all retired on fixed income kind of guy. So, you know, the green stuff don't roll just like it did when I was working. But somewhere down the line, I might get something else going on. Uh, Mike can get like you there, folks. Yeah, 410, 410. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm retarded too. I mean, retired too. And uh, I know what you're talking about. The green stamp's not flowing. The cash the cash flow ain't quite what it used to be to break. Yeah, 10 4. It, it, you know, that's what we gotta that's what we gotta keep in mind, you know. It is just for the hobby. It is just a hobby. And to put all the ducats all in one bucket, <laughs> it may not be a smart move to break. <laughs> well yeah, I mean it might be a hobby. But if the bucket's really, really big, and eh, well, you know, it, it could be worth it. Yeah, yeah, my well, I ain't got no big bugs around here. Yeah. The only big bugs I got out in my garden, I got some fish. I just want some big bugs. I hear they got some really big bugs down there. I hear they got some really big bugs down there in the magnolia. Uh, that, that, you know, we're not accustomed to real big bugs like that uh, over here in California. I might might see an occasional potato bug or something, but you know, we don't have anything real big over here, Break. Smoke, say 318. I don't know what happened, but doc I know what happened. Dr. Key down in the bluegrass put a hammer up in my radio. Holy cow. Hey, go ahead on. stock mic and it's blowing smoke that's for doggone sure dr key down at 318 you say you're gonna let me get that uh, we get back to dr key down and dr key down come up and there with the stock mic making a whole lot of devastation across this great big nation to bring Blade built is working. That uh, blade built eight pills working there, break. Hey, 
Hey, Dr. Mojo around Memphis, Tennessee, you got a hammer coming up around here. Hey, Dr. Mojo, you got that mall down break. <laughs> Dr. Mojo around Memphis, Tennessee. I think I could hear Key Down. Dr. Key Down in there said uh, he was going to put a hammer down, but then you had that mall down the whole time. <laughs> hey, Dr. Mojo, Motor Mouth Mall got the Mojo rising. <laughs> I'll see you, and I appreciate you rolling up in here with all that audio and that great big old hammer from Memphis 10. Ain't no doubt about that. Dr. Mojo Motor Mouth Mo getting down one more time. Hey, Motor Mouth Mo, number 20, Illinois, trying to get over there. Holy cow, number 20, Illinois, you uh, you bowling up in here like you own my radio. Now, wait a second, I, there were some big hammers up in there, but that ain't number 20. You come rolling in there like you own this thing. <laughs> Well, that's a rare occurrence. I must have got lucky. I didn't rock the van, did I? Well, it's not, something moved. I don't know what it was. If that was an RF hitting the antenna at a high rate of speed or what, but but something moved. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably that cool up there translating my signal. <laughs> well, I better look up there and check the translation there. She's up there, break. <laughs> Well, I sure appreciate you rolling up in there, eight number 20. I appreciate you rolling all the way up in here in the world of sound. And the grass, by the way, is getting a little bit more browner. You know, it looked brown the other day because my camera is black and white. I don't know why it's black and white. It's supposed to be color, but for some reason it's showing up as black and white. And when I mowed the lawn, it was, it was tall. It was, uh, it was pretty high, you know. It was about, I don't know, a foot and a half tall. I, I mowed it. And uh, all the stuff laid down and it's dead on top. So it, 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 still, uh, it still looks dead, but it ain't dead to break. Poor 10, it'll look really, really good uh, here about another uh, week and a half for two weeks. I think it'll look pretty nice. We're going to be getting some more rain this weekend, so that'll help out too to break. We're all right, we're all right, people. Now we got our share of that. We were two inches every day, so we've been getting our share of that. Holy smokes, that's a lot of rain. All right, sounds good. We'll stay dry over there. And if you got a little extra, you can send it our way. We'll take it to break. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've had two uh, over two inch rain events in the last week. Wow, holy cow. And, and, and do you have any flooding nearby, or are you, uh, you on high ground, or how's that work? Uh, we're good here where we're at, but, uh, yeah, ditches get full, and creeks get out every once in a while, but, yeah, it's not bad. 10 for it, 10 for it. yeah, that's how we are over here, too. We have, uh, we're on high ground, we're at 600 feet above sea level, everything is all pretty much below us, but to drive into town, there's a few places we've got to be careful about. Uh, when it rains real, really heavy, there's a couple roads that wash out pretty regularly. <laughs> I don't know why they don't do something about that, but there's a couple that wash out pretty good, and we got a little Arizona crossing on our main road that gets kind of out of control, but uh, not too doggone bad. Are you, are you, are you? Well, we're between the, the two rivers, so spring flooding gets us, you know, it, it's, it just oh, impedes your travel. But, you know, Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of a, a hill with a river on both sides there, Joe. Well, it's a peninsula, basically. Ah, 10-4 and 10-4 on the peninsula. All right, good deal. Uh, I'll swing the camera over here around real fast so you can see a view out of my antenna. I'm looking at you. And uh, I got the Santa Maria Valley down below me. And uh, and then some big mountains. And up over the mountains uh, and where I'm looking right now is pretty much into maybe Bakersfield, just a hair north of Bakersfield. And then a, a crow's line shot all the way over to you. So uh, anyway, that's where that's where we are over here, right here in Santa Maria, California, up on the hill, Brayton. <laughs>
Ten four. Right. It's getting real busy out there. So eight number twenty over in Dillon, Illinois. I'll say seventy three is for now, and uh, we'll put it on you again a little bit later. While well, it's uh, twenty minutes into the gate, eight, eight number twenty. You're the last person on the gate at twenty minutes into the gate. I got down. All right, more around, Bo. Take care over there. We'll catch you later. Ten four. We'll see you. Bye. 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 Bye.